Okay, so Alan is president and CEO and chairman of the board at um, uh, Puma, not Cougar anymore, Puma. Uh, he uh, has had a variety of positions before coming here, including Wells Fargo Securities, uh, Seidler Company. He's been uh, doing uh, research and clinical trials at Diagnostics Products Company, and he has a degree in biomedical engineering. Um, this, I think, is your first product at Puma, is that correct? Does that look correct. familiar to you? Yep, correct. Oh, good. Um, Wikipedia, then, is good. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. <laughs> they got that right. Um, uh, Puma, um, I, I'm not going to repeat what Puma is doing, um, but um, Alan will tell you about that now. So, Alan, you're up. I'm up. <laughs> Thanks. First of all, it's a pleasure to be here. I've known Ahmed now, what, 15 years since my days as an analyst, so it's a pleasure to be here. Ironically, that picture was taken at... Um, that's correct, which was, yes, which was, that's right, which we were celebrating that uh, my first company, Cougar, had the uh, largest financing for that year. And ironically, the company who was number two, Kythera, which is Keith Leonard's company, is now a, you know, $900 million publicly traded company as well. So it shows, you know, here in L.A. we do some great innovation. So in terms of my background, as you can see, I have an interesting background. Um, I started my career at a company called Diagnostic Products Corporation where I uh, was involved with oncology clinical trials, uh, got the opportunity to be a Wall Street analyst with a small firm here in town called Seidler. That lasted for a very short time, and the team that I was with then moved to what was then Van Casper & Company. Van Casper & Company got acquired by uh, First Security Bank three months later, three months after that, Wells Fargo. So I was going through uh, make business cards pretty damn quickly, and I was with Wells Fargo <laughs> for the next six years. I had a great career as an analyst. I specifically covered um, small and mid-cap biotech companies and those in the cancer space. And in 2002, I got approached by a uh, hedge fund who had approached me with the idea of starting my own company. And the idea being that you have a lot of pharmaceutical companies, biotech companies, or research institutions that for whatever reason, sidetrack certain projects. Maybe they don't have the funding for it, maybe it's not a priority anymore, but there's still value in those programs. So the idea being you could go and buy these things, in license them into the company, and then build the company from there. So in May of 2003, I started Cougar Biotechnology. All of Cougar was me with $5 million in seed capital, a laptop and a phone, and a little rented office here in Westwood, and that was the whole company. Uh, I ended up finding a drug called Abiraterone Acetate, which was sitting in the United Kingdom with a publicly traded company called BTG. They basically shelved the drug for three years and basically it had been sitting there doing nothing. We bought the drug, brought it into the company, um, and then thankfully I had the uh, background with Wall Street and I went to the investors on Wall Street and you know, convinced them there was value in it. So we needed to raise between 25 and $35 million. We actually raised $47.5 million ended up taking the company public and had a very successful um, IPO and we were a successful stock. The drug ended up doing great things for prostate cancer patients and we ended up selling the company for uh, just under a billion dollars to Johnson & Johnson in uh, June of 2009. So after the company was acquired, I stayed with J&J for six months, which was to kind of integrate uh, the company into J&J. Um, I then left and said I wanted to immediately do it again and then did the same model again, which was I ended up going to Pfizer, uh, buying a cancer drug that they had been developing called Neratinib, brought that into my new company, Puma, and ironically, whereas I started Cougar with $5 million in seed capital, a uh, little rented office in Westwood, and a phone and a laptop, this time I started Puma with no money. Uh, the same exact office I was in for Cougar, I rented again, <laughs> different laptop, and the exact same phone. So it, it, worked, it worked twice, I was very pleased. Lucky um, for you. Yes. Went out to raise, once I bought the drug, I went out to raise capital. Um, you know, we really didn't even do a road show, just everyone from the, my previous uh, company came in. Ended up taking the company public, and you know, uh, as Ahmed mentioned, right now I think we're a $7.9 billion publicly traded company. And the drug is in a variety of different clinical trials, and most recently uh, we had a very positive phase three in the adjuvant breast cancer setting. So you know, it's been a great entrepreneurial experience. Obviously, the most rewarding aspect of it has been being able to help the patients, which is, you know, one of the greatest things you can do, um, and it's been a fantastic experience for me. Okay. Wow.